Hello, Classroom 4A. Welcome to class meeting on this Thursday afternoon, January 27th, 2022. I'm going to use Starfall to start our meeting today, a math song. Our letter this week is letter D. So I chose the song, I have six dollars. Dollars starts with the letter D. I have six dollars. I have six dollars, yes, I have six dollars. I've never had so much money I could spend. So I spent one dollar of it, I lent another. Now I have four dollars to share with my friend. I have four dollars, yes, I have four dollars. I've never had so much money I could spend. So I spent one dollar of it, I lent another. Now I have two dollars to share with my friend. I have two dollars, yes, I have two dollars. I've never had so much money I could spend. So I spent one dollar of it, I lent another. Now I have nothing to share with my friend. I now have nothing, yes, I now have nothing. With nothing, how can I share with my friend? I have laughter and I have kindness and I have time that I'm happy to spend. Next, I'll use Starfall for the calendar activity. So I'll move over to the January calendar. Yippee! It's January 2022. Let's make a calendar. First, we'll start with the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what day of the week is it today? Well, today is Thursday. Great job. Today is Thursday. January 27th, 2022. And if today is Thursday, then yesterday was Wednesday. And if today is Thursday, what will tomorrow be? Well, tomorrow will be Friday. That's right. Fun Friday. So today is Thursday, January 27th. 2022. So I'll pick up the day of the week. Thursday. And the date. 27th. Great job. Next, we'll mark the special days this month. Well, Saturday, January 1st was... New Year's Day. Happy New Year. And Monday, January 17th... Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And on the 19th, the staff from our class celebrated her birthday. And today is Thursday, January 27th, so I'll pick up the smiley face and move it over to today's date. Next, I'll choose a picture to decorate our calendar. And this morning, the group on Zoom chose the penguin. Now our January 2022 calendar is complete. I want to use Starfall for one more activity. Goodbye. Our letter this week is letter D, so I'm going to move to the talking library and choose another book from the non-fiction side where the title has a word with the letter D. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs starts with the letter D. Dinosaurs by Brandy Chase, illustrated by Dale Bicel. A long time ago, before there was you, dinosaurs roamed Earth. This really is true. From the forest green to the muddy swamp, dinosaurs would wander 
thumpity thump. Carnivores. Some animals eat animals, but not to be mean. We call them carnivores. They eat meat, not green beans. When dinosaur carnivores looked for lunch, they found other animals to crunchity crunch. Tiny Compsognathus moved fast as lightning. It could sneak past larger carnivores so frightening. Its sharp teeth were fearsome to the lizards it chased. Have you ever wondered how a lizard might taste? Tyrannosaurus Rex was long and was tall, but its two tiny arms were no help at all. When it felt hungry, the only thing it could do was open its mouth and chew, chew, chew. Herbivores. Some animals eat plants. They never eat meat. We call them herbivores. Leafy greens are their treat. When dinosaur herbivores looked for lunch, they found tasty plants to munchity munch. Giant Apatosaurus was as big as a house, but the brain in its head was the size of a mouse. Its body was much like an elephant's, we're told. Its long neck and long tail were a sight to behold. Mighty Stegosaurus had bony plates on its back and spikes on its tail to fend off an attack. That tail could swing from the left to the right to protect Stegosaurus if it needed to fight. Triceratops was three-horned, so the story goes, one horn above each eye and one upon its nose. Its shield-shaped head was made of bone, so most of the time carnivores left it alone. What made Corythosaurus stand out from the rest? It blew a booming sound out of its crest. The crest is the bone on the top of its head. Some like to call it a helmet instead. Asteroid Where are the dinosaurs? Where can they be? On this, most paleontologists agree. After an asteroid fell from space, the Earth became an unfriendly place. Great dusty clouds blocked out the sun. Each day was colder than the previous one. And so, without sunlight to keep them alive, the poor dinosaurs could no longer survive. Fossils How do we know about life long ago? The Earth's fossil record, it tells us so. Fossils are plants, teeth, eggs, and bones that over millions of years have turned to stone most fossils are buried deep in the ground. How old or how new? It depends where they're found. Layers of rock and mud tell the Earth's history. Each fossil buried is part of the mystery. Of changes through time, large and small, the Earth's fossil record contains it all. We imagined all dinosaurs as reptiles with scales, running from the tops of their heads to their tails. But a recent discovery revealed something new. 
several dinosaur fossils with a feathery clue. Fluffy, feathered dinosaurs? It sounds so absurd. But some dinosaurs are ancestors of birds. So far, the feathered dinosaurs we know are quite small. Feathered tyrant, Euteranus, is the largest of them all. T-Rex is its relative, and paleontologists say they are both distant cousins to the chickens of today. Do you ever wonder about life long ago? Do you sometimes ask, now why is this so? If you think about dinosaurs, then I might suggest when you're grown, you become a paleontologist. The end. What a great book for letter D, Dinosaurs. Next, I want to show, share an article that came out in News to You on January 25th, 2022 in World News. Web Telescope is pictured here. Webb Telescope reaches destination. Destination also starts with the letter D. A space telescope has reached its destination in space. The destination is where the telescope will work. The telescope is named James Webb Space Telescope. The Webb Telescope launched from Earth on December 25th. It launched from French Guiana and area in the northeastern South America. Now it is one million miles away from Earth. The Webb Telescope will stay there for more than 10 years. The Webb Telescope will orbit the sun and take photos in space. It will take photos of planets, galaxies, stars, and more. The photos will help scientists learn about space. People will be able to see the photos soon. Here we have the same article from World News. This time we have pictures with the words, Webb Telescope Reaches Destination. A space telescope reached its destination in space. The destination is where the space telescope will work. The telescope is named the James Webb Space Telescope. The Webb Telescope launched from Earth on January 25th. Now it is one million miles away from Earth. The Webb Telescope will orbit the sun. The Webb Telescope will take photos in space. It will take photos of planets, galaxies, stars, and more. The photos will help scientists learn about space. Now for our review page, number one, what launched from Earth on December 25th? The Hubble Telescope, the Webb Telescope, or Apollo 13? Well, it was the Webb Telescope that launched from Earth on December 25th. Number two, what will the Webb Telescope take photos of in space? Galaxies, amusement parks, or zoos? Well, the Webb Telescope will take photos of galaxies. Number three, how many miles from Earth is the Webb Telescope? Six million, eight million, or one million miles from Earth? Well, the Webb Telescope is one million miles from Earth. Great job with our review questions today. Well, I hope you enjoyed our activities today. Thank you for joining my class meeting on this January 27, 2022. It was great learning more about dinosaurs and great news that the Webb Telescope reached its destination. I hope you all are remembering to stay safe by washing your hands often throughout the day for at least 20 seconds and wear your mask out in the community where you need to. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I look forward to you joining my next YouTube class meeting. Take care. Bye.